Alléluia. Amen. Alléluia. Amen. I'm not getting your hallelujah very correct. Show me your gladness wherever you are. Amen. My topic today is choosing to be happy. Choosing to be happy. Hallelujah. Amen. This is my topic. Choosing to be happy. Tell your neighbor, choosing to be happy. Even into my language, choosing to be happy. Choosing to be happy. You must speak it you too. I am introducing this language into your mouth. You must speak it. Say you too. Choosing to be happy. I'm not getting you. As what? Hallelujah. Amen. Into the life. If you can follow very nice. At the beginning. When we are preaching at the beginning. The beginning is speaking this. That. At the beginning, mwanzo, God created the earth and the heaven. Mungu na and na, the earth was formless and empty. Na fi, but the Spirit of God abwana, was walking up on the water. Can you get this message? At the beginning, God created the earth and the heaven. Now, the earth was formless and a void. But the spirit of God was walking up on the water. And there was darkness all over the world. This message, message, if I can stand up at this position and I continue position, to see what God was and you to what you are today and choosing to be happy into the life in any condition in every circumstance you must choose to be happy because choosing to be happy is a nothing into the life the one who wrote this had seen it behind the back of God and he was saying and God showing him Moses Musa, let us show you how did I live God started to show him Moses see my life before I created you this what you are saying was not existing I was alone but I chose to be happy there was darkness all over the world the earth was formless and a void but God chose to be happy and he was walking up on the water no regretting was no regretting there was difficulties into his life but God chose the water and there was no regretting and when Moses saw that God was walking up on the water and the darkness all over the world and emptiness and formless and God was no regretting he was no sower and you too when you can see things are becoming tough don't live sour don't live sour you must choose to be happy in any condition and in any circumstances because all things it is God who created say choosing to be happy choosing to be happy Tell your neighbor, happy. choose to be happy. Preach him. At the beginning, God, it was like this. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor. Say, 
Stand up and see you, my man. Shimama mbele wewe mama yangu. Stand up. Shimama. Utoneshe. Utoneshe vile biriku yaka. Utoneshe. Utoneshe kumwanzo katika mwanzo. Biriku waka je. Utoneshe. Mungu wa rumba. Bingu, nuru na giza. Asa wana giza ina vya njwa na umba na nuru. Hallelujah. Amen. My topic, a small topic, is choosing Sute to be happy. At the beginning, God created the earth and the heaven. Dunia. The earth was formless form and void. Na and the darkness na giza was all over the world. The spirit of God wa Mungu was walking around. You too today, na when you can see kona, things are becoming tough, mguvu, don't live sour. Wa uzuni, Choose to be happy. Because Ju, God Mungu, is the first person wakwanzi, who shows us how to live on the earth. When there is darkness, into your life, yako, don't live sour. Ushishi wa uzuni because uzuni njuu, in living sour, wa uzuni uzuni, you can't know kujua, what can happen tomorrow. Bile bile kesho. Even if darkness had beyond it into your life, continue yako. to live happy. Na when you are living happy, furaha, you will control what to do for your future to yako, make the disappearing of the darkness kwa ile that's emptiness and formless what you are seeing into your life. And God when there was darkness he was walking up on the water. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day, every day, every day. Because he chose to be happy and a sourness was not in him. At that period he found the memory and said no let now they be the light. Himself is willing. He is willing. He say what? Let there be the light. The same to you. Your willing are more powerful than what you are living. You can be living through some circumstances. But your willing, if you decide by your willing, you will see it will be achieved according to what you've decided. God said no. I've lived long, long ago in darkness, in formless, and emptiness. Now, let there be the light. And the Bible says, at the moment, the light happened. The light uh, becomes into his life. And he starts to see now what to do tomorrow and what to do today. And you too, when you are living in happiness, you choose to, to live happy, you, your willing will have ability to do according to what you are thinking to do. But if you are living so well, your willing are becoming weak are becoming weak. Now, if you are living happy, you are willing to is becoming happy and more strong. Whatever you can decide into your willing, it will be done as you decided. Now, if you are living sour, your willing is becoming weak. You can be willing to do such thing but it can't be done as you are planning it to be done because you yourself you paralyzed the powerful of your willing. Now to live happy it is to make strong your, your willing even if you are suffering even if you are sick even if there is what continue to be happy and when you are becoming happy you know that you are strengthened you're willing. A day you will decide that no, let I live correctly. You will live correctly because of what you're willing is strong. 
To live sawa. Kuishi na uzuni. So your neighbor, to live sawa. Kuishi na uzuni. Is to paralyze ni kuparalize your willing volonté yako but to live happy me kuishi na furaha it is to strengthen ni kupachia nguvu your willing volonté into your future mu future yako if you suffer today you see sickness unaona malaria continue to be happy endelea na kuwa na furaha a day you will decide your willing will be done volonté yako itafanishika because you are happy juu kuna furaha Our happiness yetu is giving the strength to the willing. Our fairness yetu is uh, giving the weakness to our willing. Yetu. The way you are living naishi, it is the way even your willing will be. Into the book of Psalm 144 Psalm 44 and verse 15 This book is being written. Happy Eri is people whose God is their God. Whose God is their God. Eri watu ambaye Bwana Mungu ndio Mungu wao. Happy Eri to the people those mutu God is their God. They are happy. When God is your God, you, say, you are happy. Going with your future, thing will change. Don't see the today. Today we pass, and tomorrow is another plan of God. Say yes, I receive it. Later I receive even if uh, you you can say no I don't have Acha nipokee hata kama unasema oh mimi sina nayo mimi sina wewe kuna furaha show you happy Ujioneshe wa furaha Abraham Abraham I will bless you Mimi nitakubariki Na starting now Sasa kuanzia leo you yourself we mwenyewe show you happiness Ujioneshe wa furaha So that you too Juna wei you become happy into your future mfuturi yako into the life Mumaisha never say Ushikasemwe I don't have Mimi sina Well ni time of giving the offering wakati ya kuleta sadaka yako You send up you to you are going with your offering Mimi nawe yokonenda na sadaka yako And you show your happiness And me too I am happy And you will will be done yes. your plan to be done